Hello, my name is Rusty. I'm excited to be here for our time with God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you take care of our needs. We need your help to have strength to stand for you because the world is full of darkness and is targeting us. So we need your help to be brave and stand strong for you. We have victory in your name because Jesus Christ is our savior. Help us Lord to stay eager and know more about you. We love you in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. Bible trivia. So our last question was who did Samuel anoint as the first king of Israel? I hope that you tried to find that answer in your Bible. So who did Samuel anoint? Samuel was a prophet and he anointed who as king? Do you know the answer? Saul, that was the first king. The second one was who? David. Okay. So now we're going to keep going in Ephesians chapter six, because as we keep going, we need to know that the world is targeting you. As Christians, we need to realize that we need to ask God to support us and help us to keep going, to be with us because there's so much evil out there and we're not fighting against flesh. We're not fighting against people. We're fighting against what? Here's our verse. Ephesians chapter six, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So did you know that evil is out there? We can see it very clearly. And I know that the world, they don't notice it. It's just normal to them, but it shouldn't be. It's sad. Yeah. But as believers that we've accepted Jesus Christ as our personal savior, we can see all the darkness and we're not against people. We're against Satan and he's causing the darkness and it's increasing. The evil is increasing. So people can be against me, but really it's Satan behind them. It's an interesting thing. And it's sad that people don't see that. So we need to pray that God allows them to have open eyes. The power has to come from God to open their eyes. And I pray that people would take advantage of, of God giving us a second chance through Jesus before something happens or before Jesus comes back, it's going to be soon. We have a battle and we have to stand strong. So let's pray. Heavenly father, we thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for this verse that helps us to see the big picture that we're not fighting against flesh. We're fighting against evil. Evil is behind all what people do and we experience all this stuff and people can't see it. So we ask you, Lord, to help us to stand strong. God, we know you're with us. You're precious and we love you in Jesus name. Amen. So now Bible trivia, what could it be? How did David defeat the lies? Goliath, a real tall man. Can you tell me the answer? God will always be with you.
my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.